Today's Monday, January 10th, 2022, and I just saw an article on Yahoo News that mentions that Goldman Sachs recently raised their one-year price target of Tesla stock, stock symbol TSLA, to $1,200. So based off of this news, I decided to take a look at what I would do if I had the money to execute an option play using Tesla stock as the underlying shares. I noticed that shares of Tesla finished out the closing day at $1,058.12. So they're up $31.16, which is a little bit over 3%. And then in after hours market trading, the stock is up again another $13.43 or up another 1.27%. So just in case you don't know, Tesla is a $1 trillion company. Their market cap is $1 trillion. And they have an average trading volume of 27.3 million shares. So there's a, a lot of interest and a lot of shares changing hands on a day-to-day -day basis using Tesla stock. Here's a daily chart for Tesla stock going back one year. And you can see it's had its share of ups and downs. But if we just take a measure from where it was at the beginning of the year to where it is today, we can see that the stock is up about 62%. So as I look at the charts and evaluate where the stock price is currently at and bounce that against the recent recommendation from Goldman Sachs, I think I would be looking at selling a cash secure put with a strike price right around $920 or so. So let's take a look at the option chain. So this is for stock symbol TSLA. And I'm going to look at the option chain with an expiration date of about one month out. So let's go to February 11th. And I want to look at selling a cash secure put with a $920 strike price. And that's here. And we could see the $900 strike price pays $32.53 per share in premium. So let's plug those numbers into my picking stocks for options analyzer. So 920. So this is for stock symbol TSLA. February 11th is my expiration date. $920 will be my strike price. And it's paying $32.53. $32 so that's $32.53. Okay, so with the February 11th expiration date, that's one month out. That's 32 days out. And with my strike price of $920, that means I need to reserve $92,000 as my collateral. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But if I could, if I had the money to spend, I could, I could sell this cash secure put. Reserve $92,000 as my collateral based off of the $920 strike price. And in return, receive a premium of $32.53 per share. Now, if the option contract did get exercised, let's say uh, come expiration date, the market price had, had fallen below my strike price, I would end up paying $922, $920 per share which is a discount of $138.12 off the current market price. And so that would be a savings of just over 13%. And in return for selling this cash secure put option contract, I would receive a premium payment of $3,253. That's pretty good. That's a large sum of money. But take a look at this. That $3,253, that represents a 3.54% gain based off of the amount of money I would have had to reserve as my collateral. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I like to get a premium payment that works out to about 1% per week for each week that the option contract is open. So ideally, because this is a one month option contract or four weeks, ideally I'd like to get 4%, um, a 4% return based off of the premium amount. And that's that's not here, That's it's only three and a half. Uh, so I would have to take a look at uh, you know, whether or not I, I thought the risk reward was worth it. But, you know, really, in in all practical sense, I don't have the money <laughs> to, to sell a cash secure put. So what else could I do if I couldn't sell this cash secure put? 
Well, another thing that I could do, something I could look at would be to to purchase a leaps option, right? So the leaps option would give me the ability to to buy the option contract and control 100 shares of Tesla stock without having to pay full price that that price for the stock. So I wouldn't actually own the stock, but I would own <clears throat> but I would directly control 100 shares of stock. So let's take a look at that. So for this leaps option, I would be buying a call option and we'd go out one year so let's look at January 20th of 2023 and based on the information I have I would be looking at a strike price of $750 so here's the $750 strike price uh, which gives me an 80 Delta and the premium on this is $418 and five cents so in order for me to purchase this leaps contract for the Tesla stock with a $750 strike price, I would need to come up with $41,805 uh, to purchase that option contract. So that would be the premium payment. It's this amount times 100. So again, you know, it's this $41,000, 42,000, let's say. So this is less than half of what it would cost me to execute that cash secure put. So that's a huge savings, right? Instead of 92,000 for the cash secure put that I'd have to reserve, I could purchase the leaps option and only pay $41,805. But again, in a practical sense, this isn't really viable for my situation. Um, I don't have that kind of money available. So as an alternative, what could I do? Is there not something else I could do? Well, sure. I could possibly do a put credit spread. So if I believe that the price of Tesla is going to continue along these lines and even climb higher, right? We've seen that Goldman Sachs has given it a higher price target. I could go ahead and look at, at um, executing a put credit spread. I could go ahead and execute a put credit spread because I'm bullish on the stock and I think that it if it comes down, it'll come down very little, but more than likely will go higher in the future. So I could go out to, say, one month out, February 11th. And the first thing I would do would be to sell a put option. So I'd be looking at, say, a 930 strike price. And then I would also buy a put option with a lower strike price, but the same expiration date. And this is the configuration for a put credit spread. So I could go to the 925 strike price and purchase that. And you'll notice now that I've, what, what I've done is I've configured a put credit spread while I'm selling the, the 930 strike price put option. And simultaneously, I'm buying the 925 strike price put option. And so my total credit that I would receive is $1.38 per share. So my max profit would be $138. My max potential loss would be $362. And then my break-even price here would be if the Tesla stock finished at $928.82. And so for reserving $500, so for utilizing $500 in collateral, I stand the opportunity, I have the opportunity to earn a maximum of $138. And while at the same time, I put myself or expose myself to the risk of losing a maximum of $362. Get access to my trade alert notification so that you can see my trades before I start them and make a huge profit like this one, where I made $1,200 in just 39 days using this leaps option. Join my Simple Trading Room community at discord.simpleoptiontrading.com.